Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of RFD TV Live. It's SFP Live tonight. I'm agriculture broadcaster Max Armstrong, your host over the next hour. And we always welcome these opportunities to come into your home to share some insight with you producers all over America about some of the latest research, some of the latest findings, some of the latest testimonials from growers just like you about Nutrisphere N and Avail, the products of SFP. But tonight we're talking about protecting your nitrogen investment. And with the volatility and the price spikes that we've seen in fertilizer, how can you not afford to manage that risk as well? So managing that nitrogen investment, protecting that investment is what we'll talk about over the next hour with the folks from SFP. And yes, there'll be testimonials. Yes, there will be results from test plots. And as is always the case, yes, you'll have the opportunity to call in and ask some, some questions with our panel of experts. Let me introduce them to you as we have them gathered around the table here once more at the far end. Larry Shivers joining us once again. It's been a while. Welcome back, pal. Well, thank you, Max. Appreciate being back. Back. It's been a little bit cold in Kansas, so uh, tried to come south for warm weather, but I didn't find it. Are you still dry over much of Kansas? Uh, certain areas were extremely dry. There's a lot of wheat that hasn't uh, even sprouted yet. You know, I was surprised. I was out there south of Clay Center a few weeks ago and looking over some of the fields. I said, where is the wheat? And I, I was just shocked that uh, the fields looked that tough. Well, right in the middle here from the state of Iowa, Dave Schwartz. Welcome back, young man. How have you been? Christmas treated me well, Max. Yeah, that's, that's good. You look like it did, as a matter of fact. And welcome to the new year. You've got a lot of great things to talk about, and uh, we'll spend a little time here in the next few minutes sharing some good things with the producers all over the country. We're loaded with opportunities, Max. I guess, I guess the two of you and I must ask ourselves what we've done wrong. We've got the boss here tonight. <laughs> alongside, kind of a check ride, as the pilots might call it. Dr. Sanders, welcome back, as always. Dr. Max, Larry Sanders. Thanks so much. It's good to be here with you, and good to talk about Nutrisphere and Avail tonight. Well, you're the man who helps bring the science to us to talk a little bit about uh, everything that's going on. And my goodness, uh, when you take a look at uh, what's going on with agriculture prices now, that side of the ledger. Of course, producers remain very concerned about their investment in a crop and the volatility that we see right there. Dave, why don't you kind of set the stage for a moment or two and, and talk a bit about the current situation when it comes to nitrogen fertilizer prices. I know you keep your fingers on the pulse of that at all times. Yeah, the nitrogen market uh, as of right now is stabilized just a little bit. Uh, right now, urea is a really good price position. Uh, checking prices today with a, a good friend of ours uh, uh, down in Oklahoma. Uh, we found that the urea market right now is probably, uh, you're looking at urea actually uh, about a dime to 12 cents a unit cheaper than UAN at the moment. So uh, that doesn't happen all that often. Uh, it, it may, if it hangs on at this price throughout the season, I think uh, growers may want to look at uh, maybe putting on a little more urea, maybe top dressing some urea, splitting up those nitrogen applications, taking advantage of some of these prices. And that's where the Nutrisphere has such a nice fit. We can take something that may be a little riskier as a urea application, treat it with Nutrisphere, and make it a very sound, solid investment. Uh, the uh, UAN prices are, are a little high right now. Uh, if you hadn't locked it in, I think uh, you know you, you might be looking at some uh, pretty high prices per acre. We're looking at over $100 an acre, mm. um, more like $110, $111 an acre for 150 pounds of uh, UAN uh, actual on an end basis. So I mean. Big dollar spent, and we're going to talk tonight about protecting that investment in this nitrogen. Uh, what a year last year for nitrogen loss, and right. that should be vivid in most people's minds. So uh, we've got some really good data to share tonight with the audience to, ha to just sit back and figure ways to make more with less. It strikes me that in both of the last uh, two seasons, 2009 and th 2010, uh, it was evident of the nitrogen loss. I mean, driving along mm -hmm. the road, you could often see it right there in the plants. When you can see it from the road, it's, it's very severe. And, you know, I had the opportunity to ride in a couple of combines this fall as guys were going out through that field. And that's something that, you know, uh, you usually don't see a lot of variation in that yield monitor on a fairly even field. But, boy, this year that was not the case. Uh, as guys would tell me and as I witnessed on a couple occasions, 0 to 250 uh, on that right. yield monitor on one pass through the field, you know, and you're, it just leaves you with all kinds of question marks. What could I have done better? The weather really got me. 
And you think uh, nitrogen loss was a, was a significant factor in that variability going across the field? Number one factor, no, no doubt about it. Dr. Sanders, let's talk a bit about the science. I mean, it's, it's worth visiting that subject once more as we have you here with us because many people will ask the question, how does it work? How does Nutrisphere N work to get the job done to keep that nitrogen in place and available? Well, you know, Max, this is a new chemistry. We've been using it for about four or five years now, but it does things that nothing else has ever done before. It's a nitrogen fertilizer manager. So it actually manages those losses that a farmer faces each year out in the field. It faces, it overcomes volatilization, which is loss of that nitrogen up into the atmosphere. It overcomes some of the leaching problems that a farmer faces. And one of the big problems that it overcomes is the conversion of the ammonium nitrogen into the nitrate nitrogen that can leach and denitrify. And then when the plant takes up nitrates, it has to convert it back into ammonium nitrogen, which is a very costly process. And that takes a lot of energy away from the plant, draws a lot of yield away from the plant, poor plant health, all those things. Nutrisphere N is something that overcomes all of those different loss mechanisms and helps that farmer manage his nitrogen to, and, and the good thing about it is he can apply it in the fall, he can apply it in the spring, and he gets good use out of that nitrogen anytime he wants to apply it. On the screen it said as much as 50% loss. As much as half can be lost. Well, I think last year, if we were driving down through some of those fields that you, that you were talking about just a minute ago, you'd see that we had some 50% losses out there. It's like throwing money away, throwing dollars out the combine cap. Absolutely. Window. It's a lot of money. Well, let's talk about wheat a little bit here. Uh, a lot of producers are going to be considering top dressing. Uh, do we have some wheat trial results we can share, Dave? Yeah, I think we'll... Uh Start with Larry. You want to you want to talk about some of the the uh, trials in sure. in your part of the world. Larry's our wheat expert. Oh, how could I forget that? He said Salina, Kansas. I I, I should have been a little more alert there. Go right ahead, Larry. Well, nitrogen and wheat is as vital as far as generating that maximum production as any other of the inputs for any other crop, and by doing so. Top dressing is one of those timely additives that we want to be involved in. And this year, of course, there's a lot of wheat that has already been top dressed because of concerns on pricing, concerns on supply. And a huge percentage of that top dressed wheat this fall and early winter had a nutrisur applied to it because they want to maintain that volatilization control. And of course, once we get into soil, as Dr. Sanders mentioned, then and there's where we really shine the greatest amount. And by doing that, we will have it in the soil where we need it. As we know, if wheat does not have an adequate amount of nitrogen at joining time, that's when the yield potential is determined. We want to make sure we have adequate amounts there at that point in time. With the nutrient in, helps us maintain that in that ammonium ion so that we can get the greatest benefit out of it as far as that wheat plant is concerned. And when you look at some of the data that we have as far as, as uh, Wheat is concerned, if you look at Kansas wheat from, from Kansas University, Kansas State University this past year, the nitrogen rates that we look at, whether it's 40, 60, 80, or 100, is important as determining our yield goals that we want and then fitting our fertility based on that. So I like to look at it in that light because we got to set a yield goal, put the, put the nitrogen needs toward that. And if we look at the, the yield data, whether it's 40, 60, or 80, or 100 pounds, and add Nutrisphere to that, we're generally getting around that 7 to 9 bushel yield bump on an average across the country. If you just take 60 pounds of nitrogen, add Nutrisphere to it, and say we get an average of, say, 7 to 7.4 bushel, that cost is roughly $4.80 for the Nutrisphere on it. Wheat closed Friday cash in Kansas probably around seven and a half to seven seventy, depending on where you are. So let's take four dollars and eighty cents and protect a fifty-five dollar return on our investment. That's what ten to one, twelve mm -hmm. to one return on investment. That's an excellent positive return on your investment. That's like buying in some additional insurance for four dollars and eighty cents to get a fifty-five dollar return. Well, you mentioned the markets, and who knows where they're going to go this summer. But, boy, I've, I've sat with a number of analysts in recent days who, who say all we need is just one little weather wobble, and uh, the upside potential is really uh, significant. As one analyst uh, partic participating in a panel where I uh, moderated over the weekend, he said, we won't know how high is high 
you know, until that actually happens. I mean, he said it's just a, there's an explosive potential is the word that, that has been used. So it's going to be real interesting. And obviously, the producer wants to maximize the opportunity here in this uh, unique time frame. Well, now is the time to make sure that we capitalize on that return because, as we all know, in agriculture, there are those times that we can capitalize on some unique opportunities. This is one of those. And Nutrisure is going to help us ac accumulate that, that return. One thing I might point out to you is we did a couple of other tests which tell us whether it's the plain sweet or whether it's Minnesota, where it is. Nutrisure is a soil phenomenon. And so the region doesn't matter. It works just, everywhere. That's correct. And we're looking at Minnesota, for example, just under standard uh, grower practices, 58.3 bushel on his sweetie in 2010. He added Nutrisphere to that and raised it to 67.1. So we had a nice increase on it. The other thing I think that's very important is we talk about timing and top dressing and things of this nature, and we move on to the molding barley one that we show, which of course is in the same uh, cropping practice that a wheat would be, and we look at, at timing is very important is because when you look at taking 100 pounds of urea, we go pre-plant, it was 113 bushel, and this was done in Idaho, but you add Nutrisphere to that 100 pounds, and it went to 132 bushel. Hmm. But now let's take a look at timing. This is the important side of it when we look at maximizing production. We took that 100 pounds of urea and we went 80% pre-plant and we went 20% at joining time. And remember we talked about joining, you wanna have as much nitrogen in that plant as you possibly can to determine yield potential. We went to 123 bushel, then we took the same uh, 80 20 and added Nutrisphere to those applications, we raised it to 140 bushel. Again, the emphasis is on timing of the application. Very good. We have some testimonials, do we not, uh, to also share with the producers tonight uh, before we go on and look at a little more data? Let's, let's take a look at what some uh, producers have told us, some folks out of the field, what they've shared with us here as well. I've used Nutrisphere on uh, my uh, wheat uh, a couple weeks before planting. We usually put dry uh, uh, nitrogen out uh, and we spray it with uh, Nutrisphere. Uh, on uh, the uh, Milo ground, again, it's a similar type of situation. Uh, because we no-till it into our corn stalks, uh, we uh, blow the uh, dry nitrogen on with the Nutrisphere, and then we apply the uh, 103040 with uh, a veil at, with the planter. As far as the wheat, nice and level, you know, wasn't any wavy spots throughout the field. Uh, it stood uh, extremely well with uh, all the moisture that we had through the uh, spring and uh, summer, and our harvest in, uh, our wheat harvest was about uh, two to three weeks later than it usually does. So whenever it, uh, a crop has to uh, stay out there longer than it usually does, you always have a tendency to have some losses and things like that. And we sure didn't see any uh, losses uh, from our uh, wheat crop this year. To me, uh, it's common sense. And if you can improve uh, your uh, plant and the health of the plant, you're gonna improve your yield and yield is what we're after. Nutrisphere in we used on our wheat uh, crop this year. This is the first year we've used that product. Um, it was applied in late March, right before the wheat came out of dormancy in this area, and it was put on with the nitrogen with the 28 that was applied. Um, we did a side-by-side -side test on uh, three different fields, and uh, you could tell the difference. Uh, there was no marker, but you could tell when you got into it, the yields increased. Uh, just to be conservative, three to five bushel. And, but the wheat seemed to be a lot thicker and the straw was a lot heavier. Um, the heads were a little bit larger and uh, the yield monitor showed that increase. Um, I think it's something that uh, needs to be looked at again, but it, uh, the wheat stood good and uh, it was, uh, I think it was very beneficial. So the results show in a variety of ways, growers seem to indicate to us. You guys want to share some additional comments on what we saw there? Well, I'd like to back up just a little bit and talk a little bit more about Kansas State University's research on wheat, Max, in that 
you know, there is a point of diminishing return. There's, and everybody has to decide where that is in their production on it. But KSU's done an excellent job over the years of giving us good data back, whether it be wheat or anything else. This reference that data as whether it's 40, 60, 80, or 100 pounds of, of nitrogen and adding nutrisphere to it, we can get a yield bump. And I think the yield gold fertility needs have to be balanced out on it. One other important thing on this yield add, if you look at it, is the benefits on protein. As we know, that's becoming more of a critical issue on acceptance on protein quantity at a lot of terminals anymore. So Nutrisphere, additional to the nitrogen, holding the nitrogen longer, gives us that opportunity to give us the boost, and we can enhance the protein. So bottom line is, we're not only increasing quantity, but we're increasing quality as well. That's a very good point. Absolutely. Dave? And, uh Go back to the Minnesota trial that was uh, put up first there. Uh, you're looking at, uh, you know, an 8.8 .8 bushel response on a 67 bushel crop. Uh, you're looking at uh, a 14 percent return on investment, $7.50 wheat, a $4.80 investment in Nutrisphere. You're looking at a $61.20 per acre return that this trial up at uh, Graceville, Minnesota. And we really appreciate Bauer Country Ag, Bauer Countryside Ag in Graceville uh, for providing us with this information because uh, they had four or five plots up there that consistently did this. What an awesome opportunity for growers this spring to get a great return on that nitrogen investment. And as I said earlier in the show, you know, nitrogen right now, urea is a pretty good buy. Uh, you're looking at, you know, 52 to 55 cents a unit. Protect that with Nutrisphere for eight cents a unit and look at the returns you can, you can realize from that type of a return. This one here was 10 to one. The numbers are impressive. One more thing, Larry? One more thing on it, Max, is, is as Dave mentioned on return, at a 60 to 80 pounds of nitrogen, that's less than a bushel of wheat hmm. in cost. That's pretty nice uh, insurance on, a, on a, say, a six-tenths to a seven-tenths of a bushel cost of wheat. Very good. Hang on. We want to talk about some more results, maybe shifting gears a little bit to corn. I, I know you've got some great numbers and great stories to share there, too. We'll be back with more on this edition of SFP Live. And hang on. We'll offer you the opportunity to call in, too. Stay with us. Get your crops off to a great start. Use Season Pass with Avail, your ticket to higher yields. Season Pass, a low salt starter, is non-corrosive, includes zinc, low application rates, available NPK row starter, and includes Avail technology. With as little as three to five gallons per acre, Season Pass can be applied in furrow, saving precious planting time while maximizing your yields. To get your growing season off to a great start, contact Darren Blank at 812-455-4911. I'm proud to say RFD TV is now 10 years old. At this time, I'd like to mark this major milestone by thanking all who made this possible, starting with Charlie Ergen at Dish Network, who gave us that first big break that now has RFD TV into over 40 million homes. I want to thank each of the 93 independent programmers whose sacrifice and belief in those early years has made this rural network into what it is today. I want to thank all our employees, many of whom are still doing the jobs of two or three people at other networks. All of us together, want to thank you, RFD TV's viewers, who have supported this channel from day one by telling your friends and neighbors about RFD TV. Purchase subscriptions to our magazine, patronized our advertisers, and put up with our many mistakes over the years. All I can say is, if you liked RFD TV the first 10 years, you're going to love this rural network in the next decade. RFD TV is here to stay. Thank you. Information at your fingertips at sfp.com. Learn about Avail and Nutrisphere N and find out how you can keep your phosphorus and nitrogen more available for your crops. Sign up for SFP's e-newsletter, Yield Signs, and keep up with what's happening in the industry. Listen to our success stories from across the country or find a dealer near you with our simple-to-use dealer locator. When you have questions about fertilizer efficiency, sfp.com has the answers. Welcome back to SFP Live here on RFD TV Live. And yes, I said you have the opportunity to call in. Well, you sure do. Let us give you the number right now to enable you to do so. That number is 877 731 6733. Perhaps you, as a producer, 
have an experience to share. Maybe you, as I know a number of growers did this past season, I am personally familiar with some who uh, had experience with Nutrisphere in, and they said, yeah, yeah, you know, we were pleased. So you might want to call in, or perhaps you have a question to ask of our panelists here. And again, it could uh, apply to a variety of crops. We're going to be talking about corn in just a moment. Let me also mention to you the fact that there is a webinar immediately after this broadcast this evening. You can have the opportunity to go online and participate personally asking our experts here. After the broadcast, they'll be available. That webinar, you access it by going to the SFP website, to sfp.com, then look for the RFD TV logo, and there is a link to the webinar. So you can make your way that direction right after the broadcast, somewhere around five minutes after eight central time. Yes, just five minutes after the show, <laughs> you can check in with our panel of experts. We have some interesting results from corn, and not just corn for grain, I gather. No, you know, and, and uh, for our first slide here, is gonna, we're going to go all the way to New Hampshire, Max. And, uh, you know, silage is a very important crop to a lot of dairy people across the country and cattle producers. And uh, we want to thank uh, Ron Boone, the agronomist at Northeast Ag, and all the way out in Vermont in um, Lindenville, Vermont, for uh, this uh, nice trial that he turned in. Uh, the grower was using manure, and he was just putting on a little 918.9 starter fertilizer uh, with some avail and just 75 pounds of UAN uh, as a nitrogen source treated with Nutrisphere N. Took his yield from 18 tons per acre to 23 tons, a 22% increase in tonnage, with the $13 investment in his Vale Nutrisphere, which we call stacking. Right. And uh, what a phenomenal increase. And Larry, talk about uh, quality of forage there. Well, you know, Dave, we do a lot of this forage testing around North America, and we see typically that we get increased nitrogen uptake, but we also get a big bump in TDN, or total digestible nutrients. So it just follows right along with the Nutrisphere. When you use that material, increase the nitrogen uptake, you're going to increase that total digestible nutrients. That's a big plus for these kind of farmers. It's crucial to the milk producers, the Absolutely. Quality, quality of forage in addition to the quantity, right? Well, and the nice thing here is there's also, uh, I guess we're going to plug something we're doing new here, because this guy was using manure as his base fertilizer source, and Larry, I think it's time for you to tell them we're working on that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we can tell them a little bit about that, and we're, we've got a product called More Than Manure, and what it does is it manages the nutrients in your manure max just like Nutrisphere and Avail manage the fertilizer nutrients. So again, preventing that volatilization and nitrification of those nitrogen products and the, the lockup of that uh, phosphorus in the soil. So again, making those nutrients available to that crop, providing some huge increases in yields and really efficiencies out of manure fertilizers. Wow, for the folks of animal agriculture, there's there's something exciting coming along. MTM, we'll need to remember, right? Absolutely. More than manure. <laughs> All right, more details to follow, I, I gather, not Absolutely. too far down the road. <laughs> Some other corn results around there, Dave? Yeah, we'll go back into the Corn Belt now to uh, Illinois. Uh, this is uh, near uh, Meridosa, Illinois. Meridosa, now that's west, west central Illinois, this, as I recall. This, for many of you that farm in the Midwest, this is a very common sight in the last year or two, especially this year. Notice the field on the left. This was uh, untreated urea, uh, aerially, aerially applied. On the right-hand side, we treated that urea with Nutrisphere. Now, this was just 100 pounds or 46 units of N. 27 bushel per acre was the yield difference. Uh, treating that with Nutrisphere in. It's all about timing and protecting when you put it on there. And uh, this was, we want to thank uh, Ryko Ag of Bushnell, Illinois for uh, providing us with this uh, aerial uh, photography and yield result. They do a tremendous amount of business in Illinois uh, applying nitrogen in this manner. Mm. And it's about timing, just like Larry talked about on wheat. And you know, Dave, that's the worst time of the year to throw out some urea on top of the ground. It's hot, it's, it's dry, and in some cases maybe I'm wet there, but, but certainly some, one of the worst, worst times to throw out nitrogen on top of the soil, and that Nutrisphere protected that nitrogen, got it in the plant, and got him the yield. Very visible there, isn't it? Very that's, visible. That's one of the fastest emerging markets we're seeing with Nutrisphere in on urea. Again, you heard me talk about urea is quite a bit cheaper right now, and that's another way to take advantage of a lower price on a fertilizer input, treat it with 
Nutrisphere and utilize that end source protected to get more value into that crop. And uh, we're seeing a lot of farmers now starting to look and their dealers are putting top dress urea on in any time between that uh, V8 and V10 stage mm -hmm. and going over with these high clearance uh, spreader rigs or right. aerial and it's really paying big dividends. Excellent. So share that's some that more. Share some more stories All right. there. <laughs> well, we're going to go to Corn College. This is uh, uh, McLean County, Illinois, right? You bet. Right, right, to in, normal. right in the heart of it. Uh, we had some really nice trials at Corn College this year for the, those that were attending. And on July the 19th, not very far into that growing season already, you can see the photo here. Uh, we had the plot split right in the middle. On the right-hand side is the untreated UAN without Nutrisphere in and already, Max, at that stage of the game, we had the bottom leaves are already aborting, showing the nitrogen stress. Left-hand side's treated with Nutrisphere in, green all the way down, up and down. You can see it very visually here. We knew that was going to be a pretty successful looking plot. The next slide well, is... Well, let's stay on that one for just a right. second, Dave, because if we can go back to that slide, I don't know if we can or not, but, but you see that that plant on the right-hand side is senescing or dying. So those leaves are yellow all the way up to the very top of the plant. And what that's going to leave you with when those leaves dry out and, and you're not going to have any transpiration. So you're going to be le left with high moisture corn. So it, it's a lose-lose situation. You need to keep that plant green. You need to keep it uh, growing and producing uh, carbohydrates that go into that grain. And yet we need to keep those leaves green so that we can pull that moisture out of that corn. Which, uh, and that's what Nutrisphere is doing for us. Unfortunately, in this case, uh, we'll go to the next slide. You can see what the result of that is. When you short that plant, <laughs> uh, the end, these are the ears right out of those two plots. And uh, this was very common across the entire corn belt. It really was. I mean, there were many reports. Uh, the ears just didn't fill to the end. Maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch left mm -hmm. there at the end of the the year. And that, that, that can end up being 10 to 15 percent of the, of the yield right there. And when you start taking 220, 30 bushel corn and take 10, 15 percent off at five dollars even, today it's a little more than that, you're talking about a lot of loss. Nutrisphere in, we had some of the largest yield increases that we'd ever seen uh, come in. Some of them we, we, we don't even like to brag about them because it was that, that large. But that's the type of conditions that really are conducive to severe nitrogen loss. And I want to throw in, uh, there's a company out there that does a very good business called Bex Hybrids. Uh, Jason Webster, I had a chance to visit with him. He's their agronomist the other night at the National No-Till Conference in Cincinnati. And he was sharing some of his plot results. 19 bushels per acre difference where they had the Nutrisphere on the same rate of nitrogen wow. in their Bex hybrids. That's a third party uh, plot. It would have can, been principally the Eastern Corn Belt you're talking about, Indiana, maybe Eastern Illinois. Yes. That, and that geography. A lot of, I was out there this summer. They had some tremendous heavy rains there in, in that late June, early July, really devastated a lot of that, uh, that corn crop, and right. especially the lower areas. So uh, it's, it's just uh, insurance policy. Nutrisphere is an insurance policy for nitrogen. And for you know, a, a little as, as eight to $14 an acre, you can insure that entire nitrogen application. Uh, but what we're learning, Max, is if you learn how to spread that nitrogen applications out, split them up a little more. Don't put everything on in the fall. Maybe put a modest amount on in the fall, a little bit at planting, and then finish it off with another dose there later. You can actually put more bushels on that crop and protect that in longer and not have your eggs all in one basket. Sure, and absolutely. The smart agronomists and smart growers are learning this, and these last two years have been the the telltale sign. A little more like spoon feeding almost there. <laughs> well, it, it is. You know, uh, the guys that irrigate corn, they, right. they know how to do that. We're, we're out here in the in the middle of the heartland here. We're having to learn that the hard way, I guess. Fertigation, I guess it's called, <laughs> right? Huh? In, the, in the irrigated areas, right, yeah. to some extent? Well, share with us some other numbers if you have. By the way, let me offer you uh, folks at home one more opportunity to call in if you'd like to, because we've got these guys. They're ready to take your questions. Again, there'll be the webinar after the broadcast, but if you'd like to call in right here on the air, there is the opportunity to do so at 877 731-6733 is the telephone number, and you sure would be welcome to exchange some comments with us here or ask some questions of Larry, Larry, and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> It's your other brother, Larry. Other brother, Larry. Larry. Go ahead, Dave. Fire away. <laughs> it's an keep old me, joke, but you keep me from laughing. I'm an old jock. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to the great state of Minnesota again for corn now, 
And uh, we want to thank uh, Joel Johanning Meyer uh, of the Greenway Co-op in uh, Byron, Minnesota. He uh, turned this plot result into us. He's the agronomist up there at uh, the Greenway Co-op. Uh, UAN plus Nutrisphere N versus the same amount of UAN without 217 bushel versus 206, 11 bushel response at $5 corn, that's $55, you know, on about a 10 to $12 investment. So uh, just up and down the road, we see these all year long. The next one is uh, from Iowa. And Larry, uh, this is a two year study that we've been doing with Dr. Bert Scow up there at Acres Research. And you may want to comment on some of the things we've been doing with Dr. Scow. Well, uh, you can notice that we've got both fall and spring applications of nitrogen going from 60 to 120 to 180. And you can see those fall applications uh, are really paying off, especially when you get up into the higher ranges of nitrogen like the 180. Now the fall application where you put all your nitrogen out in the fall is just as good or better than the spring application. But the spring application with the Nutrisphere is the best application that you can put out in each of these cases. But if you've got a choice of putting your nitrogen out just by itself uh, in the fall or putting it out with Nutrisphere, it's a no-brainer. Put it out with Nutrisphere. If you've got a chance to put it out in the spring with or without Nutrisphere, again, it's just a no-brainer. The bushels are there. It gives you more money in your pocket at the end of the growing season. So Nutrisphere is managing that nitrogen for you and making sure that that plant's using it and it's got it to use through the growing season. The producer has flexibility is what you're saying there to, to a great extent. Now we had a, a wonderful wide open fall, a tremendous opportunity to fertilize, but that isn't always the case, is it? That's right. Well, there were shortages of fertilizers too, Max, and uh, you know, price hikes uh, entered into the marketplace again. Right. And so, uh, you know, a lot of producers got some fertilizer on this fall, but there's many that did not. And so uh, you want to look at return on investment. I just plugged some numbers to that last trial of Dr. Scow's. And on the average, we're looking at between 40 and $70 an acre return on investment, whether it was a fall applied with Nutrisphere or a spring applied with Nutrisphere. The average cost of that Nutrisphere is running somewhere in the neighborhood of $5 an acre on the 60 pound rate up to $14 an acre on the 180 pound rate. When you can get a $70 return on a $14 investment, uh, as consistent as we've gotten over two years here with Dr. Scow, these are two year numbers, not just one year. Uh, this product just keeps performing no matter where we put it. Absolutely. So while some producers may say, you know, I'm really watching my cost of production closely, I'm, I'm concerned about any additional expenditures, this is one that really does, from your numbers, pay off. Oh, our research over the last four years in the Midwest, uh, we're averaging on all trials that have been turned into us, nine bushels per acre. That's average, that's, that's you know, some that don't do very little and some that do quite a bit, but nine bushels is our average. And that is liquid or dry. And you take that times the price of corn today and it, it really gives you a, a good feeling about, well, our job selling the product. And number two, uh, I farm a little bit on the side too and being able to plug that product into your program. I mean, mm -hmm. it really makes you feel good to know that you've put that investment out there and you got something that's gonna make sure it works. It's a manager. I wondered how he was so smart about this, Larry, because <laughs> he farms too. Outstanding. Well, you know, we might also point out, Dave, you're sharing some great numbers here. These are available. Much of this is also available on the SFP website. Oh, absolutely, sfp.com. Uh, loads of these uh, these trials as well as testimonials from farmers themselves that, that offer their testimonial to us. Uh, we don't pay for these. These farmers are more than happy to tell us about their results and I think that's important. They want to share uh, their happiness about how the product has worked which is uh, great. It, it just keeps spreading the word. Well, let's go ahead quickly through some other thing, uh, numbers you have here from a, a wide geography, as a matter of fact. Yeah, we'll, we'll get right on it here, Max. Uh, this is back to Illinois again, and here's a grower used all urea, dry nitrogen in his program. Uh, he's putting on uh, 184 pounds of nitrogen as urea, and he got 230.5 bushels per acre versus a 219 uh, check, so uh, about an 11 bushel response again. Uh, David Patterson, the agronomist at uh, the Pearl City Co-op there, Pearl City, Illinois, supplied this tr trial for us. Uh, just an excellent response to dry nitrogen again, Larry. Uh, Absolutely. And then we'll go to our great friends in Tennessee, and this is Dr. Frank Yin at the University of Tennessee at Jackson. Uh, Dr. Yin's been working with us for several years now, and again, his studies 
uh, in a little drier year down there this year, but uh, four, eight, and nine bushel responses on the different rates from 120, 150, and 180 pounds of nitrogen with and without Nutrisphere. We're looking at an average profit per acre uh, in that 30 to $40 range again uh, with this $4 to $8 investment. Uh, our friends at Tennessee Farmers Co-op, uh, Mr. Andy Ulmer, the agronomist down there that runs West Tennessee, has put out a number of plots in that area as well. And uh, he's been averaging even a little better than Dr. Yin and some higher yields, uh, getting 200 plus bushel yields and uh, yield responses to the Nutrisphere in that 10 to 20 bushel range. Uh, Tennessee Farmers has really jumped on board with these products and is uh, fast treating a whole bunch of fertilizer getting ready for the spring rush. And we're and excited to have them on our team. All right, let's Dr. Dr. Barney sorry. Gordon, one more thing before you get away from Tennessee. Dr. Barney Gordon is living down in Tennessee now and he's doing some cotton research with Nutrisphere and he got great results this really? last year, about 100 extra pounds of cotton lent with Nutrisphere. So some really great results coming out of Tennessee. Interesting. And uh, with uh, the cotton market providing oh. some, some new oh, yeah. opportunities there, that's <laughs> exciting. Dave, how about uh, Missouri? Missouri corn. Uh, again, it doesn't matter where you go, uh, it's working. Uh, we've got Mr. Brian Busing. Uh, from Harwood, Missouri, did a nice trial. And this is just one of those top dresses again, Max, where he just went out with 50 pounds of nitrogen because the first application had kind of let loose and needed, you know, he was needing to put some additional in on there. So top dress with 50 units of nitrogen with Nutrisphere versus without. And we see a seven bushel response. That's a $4.50 investment. And he got seven bushels more. And uh, you just do the math on that. That's a that's a forty-two dollar return on a four dollar investment. Uh, I would love to find a casino where I could be that lucky. Uh, I got friends that can do that, but I can't. Uh, and, and, and we're going to have that gentleman tell his story. But he is also a dealer. Uh, he works at West Central Ag Service in Rich Hill, Missouri, and uh, you'll hear his story a little later on. All right, and Louisiana, you have even results for Louisiana. We met a new uh, researcher down there this year, our rep down there, Eddie Wally, our new Delta Regional Account rep, introduced us to a gentleman by the name of Dr. Grady Coburn. And Dr. Coburn has a very nice research facility in Cheneyville, Louisiana. He did the UAN Nutrisphere trials for us down there, and they had some very dry conditions down there this year, Max. And uh, you can see his responses uh, on 200 pounds was 22 bushel, and on 240 pounds was 24 bushel to the acre. Uh, take that times the price of corn. Uh, you folks in the Delta really need to take a look at this. You bet. Let's take a look at this video to shed some additional light for you. With the uh, tr uh, triticalian wheat crops that we have, we were top dressing in the spring. And sometimes when you when you throw out the I mean the uh, urea, you cannot incorporate it. You can't get the uh, uh, irrigation system to get around as fast as you want it to, and you, you're afraid that you're going to lose some of your nit nitrogen. So this enhanced uh, the the reason for using Nutrisphere. And so uh, if Mother Nature didn't cooperate and give us the rain like we'd like to have, uh, we we were able to let it set out there with ease and comfort. And knowing that the Nutrisphere was working on the, on our dry nitrogen product, and until we got it time to get it incorporated and and let the plant use it to its efficiency. Today's cost of nitrogen is extremely high. Our expenses in in our crops is just unbelievable. So therefore, when we use Nutrisphere with our nitrogen, we were able to uh, uh, not necessarily drop our rates of nitrogen, but knowing that we're going out there with Nutrisphere on our nitrogen, that we're getting the best best bang for our buck. In the spring of 09, we had a tremendous amount of rain in this area and our farmers were in trouble. They were running out of nitrogen in their corn. So we went and rented a high clearance fertilizer spreader to apply nitrogen over the row, top dress, and we needed help with the fertilizer. So we went to Nutrisphere and started adding Nutrisphere on our urea. Along with doing full fields, we done several check strips, test strips. And in the end, in the fall, we went back with a weigh wagon and weighed these strips and found a great yield advantage to having the Nutrisphere versus the untreated urea versus just a regular check strip with nothing applied. 
we saw in the neighborhood a 20 to 30 bushel yield bump of the top dressing and we felt as though the Nutrisphere was giving us 6 to 10 bushel advantage over the untreated urea. We've used Nutrisphere in in both the uh, urea formulation as well as the liquid formulation. We're typically using uh, Nutrisphere in on urea on fall applied nitrogen ahead of wheat, winter wheat. Um, we're also using uh, the liquid formulation on a lot of our sandier soils without the ability to retain the nitrogen. We're trying to eliminate the nitrogen loss in our fields. We've also been using Nutrisphere in in situations where the farmer used to side dress or chemigate the nitrogen on and because of the acres my customers are trying to get over, um, the Nutrisphere in has allowed us to put their nitrogen on um, either more of it up front or all of it up front and them not have to worry about the specific management practices and the time involved in applying nitrogen later on in the season. We've also experienced two years finally of heavy rains in this area and abundant moisture so the nitrogen loss factor has come into play on even our heavier soils. We've been very impressed with Nutrisphere In's ability to hold nitrogen in place and still be available to the plant. Excellent heartfelt experiences shared there. Well, we'll go to the phone lines coming up next here on this edition of SFP Live. Stay with us. When four lanes turn to two and the air becomes just a little sweeter, you'll know you're getting closer. We are where the work gets done. If you're a worker, a fixer, a grower, or a doer, then welcome home. Southern States, a place for those who do. Farmer owned since 1923. It's easy to maximize the effectiveness of your fertilizer with a Vail Phosphate Fertilizer Enhancer. Just ask the experts at Southern States. Hello, I'm Tom C., host of Best of America by Horseback. I want to thank you for watching RFD TV and Best of America by Horseback as we travel to some of the most beautiful places in America. These are places anyone can ride and see this great country. Join me each week at 7 p.m. Eastern Time right here on RFD TV as we explore America by Horseback. Watch Tom C. and Dal Shields on Best of America by Horseback Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on RFD TV. Well, howdy folks, I'm Roy Rogers, Jr., giving y'all a formal invitation to visit us here at RFD TV. Roy Rogers Theater coming your way from Branson, Missouri. We're going to show you some of the films of the King of the Cowboys, share some of the stories about my mom and dad, our family, and some great movie history. And some of the best cowboy music from the High Riders and myself and my son, Dustin Roy Rogers. Check your local listings and we'll see y'all here. House insurance? Check. Crop insurance? Check. Nitrogen insurance? Well, fact is, unprotected nitrogen can cost you half of your fertilizer investment. That's why when it's time to top dress your wheat, it pays to add Nutrisphere N, Nitrogen Fertilizer Manager. More flexibility in my schedule? Stronger, healthier crops? Yeah. So stop wasting your hard-earned money and keep your fertilizer as efficient as possible. Protect it with the power of Nutrisphere N. Visit us online at NutrisphereN.com or call us at 888-446-GROW. We're back on RFD TV Live, SFP Live, and our telephone number for you to call in is 877-731-6733. We invite your call. Let's go to the line right now, guys. Hey, Dan, how are you doing? Good, good. I'm real good. Whereabouts are you? I'm here at Junietta, Nebraska, yeah. and I work for CPI. All right. Do you have an experience to share or a question? I do. I've got some both. Now, I've been selling Nutrisphere and Avail to my farmers out here for well over four years and in that time I haven't had even one of my customers uh, have a bad experience where the products didn't work just the way we said they were going to work and I want it to be understood I, I'm pretty conservative when it comes to the risks I expose my customers to but I am constantly looking for ways to help my farmers get better value for the dollars that they spend on their input and I've been real satisfied with all the SFP products, not just how they're presented, but how they perform in the field. Now, I do have a question, though, and I've had real positive track record with these with these uh, products, and I'm kind of puzzled. There are some university folks and a few of the private agronomists out here in this area that seem, well, that are 
hesitant to look at these products on their client's field. And in my opinion, the risk seems really small compared to the payback that the farmers have gotten by using this product. So my question is, what additional steps is SFP taking right now to convince more of these third-party folks that Avail and Nutrisphere actually work for the farmer and will help the farmer improve his bottom line? It's a great question. I, there's still some doubting Thomases out there. Now, as many third-party individuals as, you, as you've had weigh in with their test results, there are still some folks who are a little bit reluctant. Well, I think you'll you'll always have people that are reluctant because remember, we we invented a new chemistry that had never been used before, Max, and so it's something brand new. We don't do it like any of the other competitors uh, in the nitrogen market do. Uh, they're uh, nitrogen products. So it brings new features, it brings uh, new benefits that really farmers and uh, researchers haven't seen before. And then uh, SFP was 10, 12 years ago was a new company and uh, we had very little funds to, to do research at universities. So we did most of our research through farmers, what we called alpha and beta uh, testers throughout North America. And, and they brought us a lot of good results back and you see a lot of those results today uh, on our website uh, and in the uh, 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 videos that, that you see on the website. So we did things probably different than most chemical companies do, but it was mainly due to you know, where we were and the size of growth and things like that. But uh, we still have done uh, 30 or 40 different university trials uh, with Nutrisphere and Avail Chemistry over the last 10 years. And we continue to do universities not only trials in, in North America, Max, but also uh, in Europe and Africa and South America and Australia and all the different continents except Antarctica. I mean, we, we have research going on. So we do spend a lot of money on research, but in those initial years and probably, uh, you know, we, we didn't do as much university research as normally a chemical company would have, but it was strictly because we, we, just, we were just on the a startup company mainly, yeah, absolutely. and our whole goal was to increase nutrient use efficiencies of nitrogen or phosphorus or whatever nutrient we were trying to bring to the farmers because it was such nutrient use efficiency is such a bad player, we knew if we could solve that for farmers that we would bring value to that farmer through not only his ability to use those nutrients better, but to increase his yields, increase his income, and protect the environment. And that, that's what we've tried to do in this company. And I think we've done a good job of it. We may have not done as much uh, university testing as we should have or could have, but um, we're, we're getting there and All we right. continue to do it. Stay tuned, as they say. <laughs> huh? Let's go back to the phone line. Steve is calling in from Missouri. Steve, are you there with us? Yes. Go right ahead, sir. Okay, I just wondered if the Nutra Spear could be used on permanent fescue pasture or on hay ground when it's not being worked up or anything. Gentlemen, what's the experience with fescue? That's a, that's a great use for, for the product, Steve, because you're exposing that nitrogen to all the loss factors that are out there. And uh, we've done a lot of tests with your uh, state university at Missouri. In fact, several years we've done studies down there. Mm -hmm. And we've increased uh, the yields on fescue hay uh, as much as a ton to the acre. And that's just with low rates of nitrogen. You're only talking um, 40, 50, 60 pounds of nitrogen. So. Uh, it's a great investment for any hay producer. Some of the best yields we've gotten across the country have come on hay and pasture acres. So uh, that's a, a very cheap investment for you, and it's one that uh, you and your neighbors should all be looking at this spring. And well, they can go to our website, and they can get a lot of that information on fescue uh, grasses. SFP.com. It's as simple as that, right? Yes. One other thing I'd like to add to that, Max, is, is that as Dave mentioned, yields, but let's don't forget we're enhancing quality at the same time. I realize forage, it's timing on how you get it put up. You know, you can't put hay down, get a rain on, leave it lay there for a week or so and, and maintain quality. But we can have the ability, and the data shows it, that we're increasing TDN and we're also increasing protein. And that'll run anywhere from, say, 1.5 to 1.3 on both of those. And that's vital, I think, when you start looking at forage production and livestock feed, is any time we can increase quality, that's dollars and cents in their pocket. Absolutely. Let's go back to the line now. William in Tennessee has called in this evening to SFP Live. Hello, William. Hello. Go right ahead with your question or comment. Uh, my question is this. I raise tobacco. I usually put out uh, 200 units to 250 
of nitrogen breaker. And I was wondering if uh, the stuff would help my uh, nitrogen and what kind of cost breaker would I be looking at? Do you guys have any uh, experience with tobacco acreage? Well, in uh, uh, southern states over in uh, the eastern part of the United States has used this material on tobacco and been very successful with it. Now, I think one of the things you'll have to watch out for is that uh, with nitrogen on tobacco, you'll have to be a little bit more cautious about the rate that you're using because Nutrisphere N is going to get is going to get more of that nitrogen into the crop than you normally get into it. So you may want to use a little bit less nitrogen than what you've been using. Uh, that'd be my uh, that'd be my thoughts on that, Max, right up front. But uh, Dave, yeah, and William, in my experience with tobacco growers in the Carolinas uh, and Virginia area, there uh, we've been able to back the rates off, uh, you know, 20, 25 percent, and uh, we want to. You're looking at about eight cents uh, a, co a pound of in uh, is your cost. So if you backed it off from your 250, uh, back it off even to 200 and treat it with the Nutrisphere, I think you'll find that uh, you'll, you'll have some excellent results. And get ready, it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow bigger. All right, let's go to <laughs> Kansas next on RFD TV Live. Chris, how are you this evening? I'm doing just fine, how are you, Max? Oh, uh, just great. Go right ahead with your question or comment, sir. Uh, yes, I've, I've been putting on 150 pounds or so of anhydrous in the fall on a corn-on-corn -corn application in some fairly good uh, bottom type ground, uh, 200 bushel plus environment. If I come back in the spring with a 28% UAN um, with like 60 or 70 pounds of that uh, V4, V5, will I see an advantage uh, by putting that, uh, just that amount on? Uh, or does this product only work uh, or maximize with a, with a higher amount of UAN? Um, and then my second question is, if I use a 918.9 uh, type of uh, in-furrow starter uh, that is 100% orthophosphate, uh, would I see any advantage of using a veil or Nutrisphere in, in that application as well? And which one uh, should I spend my money towards if I was just to pick one? Two good questions there. Maybe mm -hmm. three, huh? Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. Well, on the starter, uh, if you're putting a 918.9 starter on, uh, Chris, I would say that you're probably not putting too many gallons to the acre on. It's going to cost you just under a dollar a gallon to treat that starter with a veil. So you're looking at, uh, you know, if you're using like a five gallon rate, that's going to be five bucks. Uh, our uh, research data on that, you're, you're looking at anywhere from uh, five to 12 bushel per acre response on that. Uh, that's a pretty great return on investment. I'm going to really encourage you to put Nutrisphere on that 70 units of pre-plant or pre-emerged nitrogen with, with the herbicide. That is where we're seeing some of the biggest responses is where we add that Nutrisphere to that 50 to 80 pounds of nitrogen. It's because of the length of time that nitrogen has to perform and, we're, and the conditions you're putting it under. The most lost conditions will occur uh, at that length of time from planting to uh, that mid-June. So uh, I think you should invest in both of them myself. Uh, that, that way you could take advantage of our stacking. Very good. Let's go back and catch another call here quickly. We've got some folks dialing in who want to get in on the broadcast. Stephen in Texas, how are you? Fine. How you doing, Max? Oh, just great. I do have a question. Will the Nutrisphere increase the yield and quality on coastal like it does on the corn and the wheat? On coastal? Hmm. Well, uh, Stephen, yeah, we've had a lot of experiences, and again, you can go to sfp.com, and you can see that uh, Coastal utilizes the, the Nutrisphere chemistry just like corn or, or any other crop. Remember, this is not crop specific, so if you need nitrogen, you can use Nutrisphere to get that nitrogen into the plant to make sure that it's there the, the entire time that the plant's growing and utilizing it. So it's, it's a great way to increase your efficiency of your fertilizers, a great way to increase your yield from your fertilizers. Uh, Nutrisphere in will do the job for you on that just like it would any other crop. It's hard to believe we've almost run out of time already. We'll mention again the opportunity for folks to call in or to participate on the, uh, well, the webinar, I should say, in just a few minutes. But let's start down at the end with you, Larry Shivers, and a little bit of a summary comment as we wrap up our actual broadcast this evening. A comment you'd like to leave with the viewers. Thank you, Max. Uh, I think w two things. One is uh, that we haven't talked about tonight is 86% of the time we give them a positive return on Nutrisphere in as well as a veil.
The other thing of it is, is 93% of the growers that use our product use it again. I think that speaks very highly for those that are in doubt of performance of our products. I ask them to try it. But when you look at those kind of returns, gee, that's pretty hard to, to talk against on it. And I think the key thing of it is, Nutrisphere is the newest technology that's been designed in 40 years in the fertilizer industry. And far as return on investment on nitrogen for like top dressing, we talked about in timeliness of this spring, it's the best insurance you can maximize your, ma your nitrogen benefits with. That satisfied customer statistic you shared with us there, that's powerful. 93% use correct. it again. That's correct. All right, Dave, it's your turn. Well, I'm going to play right off of Larry here. Uh, you know, we, I, I shared some numbers with you. The average grower this year is going to spend somewhere around $100 to $150 an acre on nitrogen. Uh, for as little as $8 to $14 an acre, you can protect that nitrogen investment. Uh, I look at it as an insurance policy. We all buy insurance for many different reasons, and a lot of times we don't ever cash in on it. Uh, this is one you can buy and you'll cash in every year on. We have a consistent nine bushel per acre response uh, over many years of testing with this product. Uh, it's a very solid product. 93% of the people that use it use it again, and uh, we do not. Uh, we don't think we charge too much for it either. We haven't raised our price. Uh, in fact, we lowered the price of Nutrisphere for UAN last year because uh, we needed to get it more in line in that liquid market because we use a little more of it. So uh, it's the same price per unit as the dry. So it's eight cents a unit whether you're going liquid or dry. And uh, protect that in. Great insurance policy. And, and fertilizer is your number one investment in the crop. Managing risks in this kind of climate, uh, crucial. And this is just one more that the producer needs to try to control. All right, Dr. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Sanders, we're here <laughs> wrapping up with you, sir. How about sharing a couple of final comments? Yeah, I know you're passionate about it uh, because you, you know the chemistry well, you've seen the results, and you've heard the comments from the growers. Yes, Max, and really our job is to help farmers utilize plant nutrients to the best of their ability. And uh, Nutrisphere really does that. It not only does it here in North America, we've just hired new people in South America, we've hired people in Africa. So uh, other continents, the only continent we don't sell Nutrisphere on is Antarctica. And, and when, once we get those penguins down there figured out, well, we'll, we'll probably sell some <laughs> down there. But, but until that time, uh, Nutrisphere is, does things differently than anything else out there on the market. Uh, so, so some people may not understand exactly the mechanism of how it works, but it, it, it is highly visible. You can see it. Uh, farmers call us all the time with their results, and so it's just money in the bank for you. Absolutely. Gentlemen, thank you so much. I know a lot of folks will connect with you on the webinar coming up after the broadcast, and you can go to sfp.com, look for the RFD TV logo, and you can click right through to the webinar. Join us just about five minutes from now for that. Thanks for being with us here. We hope you have a good evening. So long, everyone.